Shortcut to Understanding A Deep Dive into Abbreviations Hello Language Enthusiasts! Today, we are going to demystify a common feature of the English language, abbreviations. Abbreviations are a significant part of our language, both in formal and informal contexts, but can often cause confusion. So let's crack the code and make abbreviations a piece of cake for you. In the simplest terms, abbreviations are shortened versions of words or phrases. They are created to make long or complex words more manageable, and are commonly used in various contexts, from scientific writing to casual conversations. For instance, ASAP is an abbreviation for as soon as possible. Now, let's dive a bit deeper and understand different types of abbreviations. Generally, we can categorize them into four types, acronyms, initialisms, shortenings, and contractions. Subsection 1, Acronyms. Acronyms are formed by taking the first letters of a phrase and making a new word out of it. Here, the resulting abbreviation is pronounced as a word itself. For example, NASA is an acronym for National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Subsection 2, Initialisms. Initialisms, similar to acronyms, are created by taking the first letters of a phrase, but unlike acronyms, we pronounce each letter separately. An example of this would be FBI for Federal Bureau of Investigation. Subsection 3, Shortenings. Shortenings are created by chopping off a part of the word, usually the end. For example, ad is a shortening of advertisement. Subsection 4, contractions. Finally, contractions are a type of abbreviation where we omit internal letters from a word or a phrase and replace them with an apostrophe. For instance, can't is a contraction of cannot. Abbreviations can make writing more efficient, but it's important to use them correctly to avoid confusion. Remember that when you're writing formally, always introduce an abbreviation before using it, unless it is common knowledge like USA. So, if you're writing about the World Health Organization for the first time, write it in full and follow it with the abbreviation in brackets, like this, World Health Organization. WHO. After this, you can use WHO throughout your text. Well, that's a wrap on abbreviations. Remember, they are simply a shortcut in language, used to make writing and speaking more efficient. Knowing how to use them correctly can greatly improve your communication skills. Keep practicing, and soon enough, you'll master the art of abbreviating. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.